Um, historically, the challenge has been that the location that you, the emergency responders get from such a call is limited to cell ID, which has you know, radius of several miles. And the FCC in the US estimates that if you reduce the response time of an E911 call by just one minute, you can save 10,000 lives a year. With uh, 20 pixel phones. Um, <laughs> And, and before, you think, before you think we're being wasteful, I just want to point out that we reuse the same car for multiple crashes, and as well as enabling multiple simultaneous resumed activities. And these features enable a key experience that we call app continuity. So the idea is you're using the app, and then you can unfold or open the device, and then the app stretches to fit the larger display. And of course, all these features help your apps perform better on larger screen devices, like the 175 million Android tablets, as well as Chromebooks. So here's an example of the problem. You're navigating in your car, and all of a sudden a pop-up ad appears and forces the navigation system to go into a picture-in-picture. -picture. And if you think this is a theoretical scenario, here's some real-world feedback that we received from somebody who actually saw this happening on their driver's car, uh, driver's phone, rather. And so it's, it's pretty scary. Uh, and this is an incredible stat, but we estimate that phones running Android 10 blocked over 17 Point eight million advertising pop-ups in the last week alone. The world. And Kotlin just won breakout project of the year at OzCon. If you haven't tried a Kotlin yet, it's a really good time to try it. Uh, whatever you can write in the Java programming language, you can write faster in Kotlin with less code. Um, and you want something to prove for it. We're offering an Android developer certification with Kotlin. It normally costs $149. And if you're watching on the live stream, you'll get the code to get it for $99. If you're with us in person, we're giving it to you for free. From here, what you would do is you would change the position of your widgets in the, the different states. You can create your own states. And from that, we can create an image transition. So I'm going to switch to a different files where I've done you know, most of the work. So you can see my start state where everything is collapsed. You can see my end state where everything is open. Uh, but you can animate more than just constraints. Uh, if you look at the color of the, of the app bar and the fab, you can see that they change between the two states. And now if I select this transition arrow, I can play the animation right here in the ID. Yeah. We all know that themes and styles are already all complex, and sometimes it's hard to know where the value comes from. So if I expand this, it's going to tell me it comes from this fragment. Yeah. And we rebuilt them totally from the ground up. We relaunched them as apply changes, and then we deleted over 50,000 lines of code. Pre-reg is the best practice for building excitement around your app or game. And players who pre-registered had almost 50% higher day 60 retention. Edermax, a Brazilian dev, ran a pre-reg campaign with milestone rewards, with four milestone levels, each unlocking a unique in-game item. And users who pre-registered played 30% more daily minutes. At $4.99 a month, users get access to hundreds of awesome apps and games completely free of ads and in-app purchases. And shorter, story-based games can be successful alongside free-to-play juggernauts or innovative apps.